Hi everyone, I am Maria and this is Week Basics, making the week cap. A quick warning before we start, I would not recommend doing this on a completed art doll because of how sensitive the face up can be. The things I use are fresh foil. I use it to protect my canvas. The good thing about this is that it is very thin and sticks together, so it is easier to take the shape of the head. I tend to use tutu because I prefer my base to be as thin as possible. This is completely personal preference. You can go for heavier fabrics if you'd like, just watch that it is stretchy. The reason for this being so important is that after your cap has cured, it will preserve the shape better and the chance the fabric corners will be loose is much lower. I use rubber bands throughout the whole process to create the base and even to cut it the right shape. Before making the cap, I made the modifications that might change the shape of the head. For example, if I would do an excessive sanding for any reason like removing a bump, or in this case here I used acetone to shrink it from 12.5 cm diameter to 10.4. I use synthetic flat brushes because they have stronger bristle and are easier to maintain after being used with glue and flat to be able to spread the glue faster. I wash it immediately after each applied layer. A graphite pencil to trace where I need to cut. It is easy to erase and there is no risk of staining the head afterwards. I try to use very sharp scissors, because once the glue is completely dry, it can be a little difficult to cut clean. I am using PVA glue for my caps, or also called white glue. It dries clear and it has some flexibility. Keep in mind that it isn't water resistant, so submerging the wig in water for washing isn't an option here. It can still be partially washed, but very carefully and I never get near the cap. I am yet to make a completely water resistant wig, but I haven't found the glue that I like, because the wefts also have to be water resistant. And these are basically the things that I use. So let's start. I cover the head with a fresh foil and a rubber band to secure it tight. I try my best to minimize the folds in order to prevent a loose cap. Once I am done, I cover it up with a tutu. When I feel like the cap might be too thin, I just use two layers of the fabric. I secure it with a rubber band and again straighten any folds. This is the most important part here. I try my very best not to have a single fold on the fabric. This is also why it is so important to use a fabric that has some stretch in it. I add the first glue layer. The important thing to remember here is to keep the layers thin. What I do is, I add small bits of glue, spread it and then I add more. It is easier this way not to overflow the cap. Otherwise, I've noticed that the glue starts pulling itself down and builds up too much near the cap end. I usually do 4, maximum 5 layers of glue. I aim to keep the base as thin as I need it, just to look more natural. With heavier fabrics, I think 3 to 4 is enough, but to determine this I just check if it has enough strength. Thank you. 
before taking off the cap, make sure to remove the rubber band that held it. If not, it will just get pulled together. And here is the raw look of it. Even after 24 hours of wait time, the glue still will be a little damp and stick to the foil. I just remove it carefully. Next I use small scissors to remove the excess. And here is the rough look. Because my cap will be round at the ends, I have marked the front of it, not to get confused. I use a rubber band again, but this time as a guide so I can evenly trace with my pencil where I want to cut. Once I have traced it, I cut following the line. You can see it takes a little effort to cut through the cap. And here it is ready! If you have trouble cutting the cap, the best thing to keep in mind here is to cut less than all at once. Because then you can always correct it. It is better than starting all over again. I hope this was helpful and if you have more questions feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye!